Hello everyone, I'm Richards, one of the developers for Red Hammer Studios, United States Armed Forces modification. I wanted to create a quick look into the development of the RG33L. I chose to do this because often the enormous work that goes into any asset is not really understood, and to give our fans a look into why even building a simple vehicle takes so long. We began the development cycle for this vehicle over 6 months ago, and let the fans watch almost the entire creation over Twitch. Production slowed as we ran out of resource images, and we prioritized other projects like the Hemet A4 series of heavy trucks. It began by editing the original 4x4 RG33, but almost every single component except the doors were completely replaced. This was not simply a matter of stretching the old vehicle, which was a mu of a much different design. When the vehicle was finished, the initial stage, it looked something like this. From there, several areas needed to be improved, so I began with a large re-editing of the model. Many of the objects were completely changed, and the UV mapping was redone again. Additional details were added that I did not previously notice, as I lacked the resource images that our members found. The final model for importing into oxygen and texturing looked like this. Then it was textured and put into oxygen. As you can see, we made numerous changes both to the shape and many small details of the vehicle. The process took months of researching and work to redo large sections of the vehicle. From the outset, my goal was to animate all four hatches on the top of the vehicle. I wanted four players to be protected inside or to be able to turn out and provide sentry positions as they would in real life. This proved to be time consuming and required me to build animations, the first time I've had to do something like that for a project. This proved to be a difficult and frustrating task, but the result of having four independent player positions to fire from the vehicle was worth it. I also took the time to animate some other small elements like the Rhino device on the up-armored RG33 and the rear door, as well as animated front doors when the driver and passenger enter and exit. We decided upon three basic variants, an unarmed vehicle, the armed variants, and the RG33L Plus variant which featured heavy effector panels to provide protection from rocket propelled grenades. By far the most interesting feature was one I couldn't have done myself. Many users helped me with this, and the vehicle is actually protected from IEDs and other explosives. While the running gear of the vehicle is destroyed, the crew does not get killed when the vehicle hits an IED. This really helped make the vehicle feel useful and real in that it serves its proper function. Finally, I couldn't have done this massive project without the help of a lot of other developers. Rayhard, Fosti, De Twelfth Monkey, Gertie, Ballistic, Wilco, and the RHS project leader Alex did an outstanding job testing, coding, and helping me develop the features when I wasn't sure. This represents a step for my personal skill, but also I think it's a really cool add-on for the community, and hopefully the first of a few different MRAPs. It can be found in game as the M1232 and the M1237. This vehicle can be found starting in the 0.42 version of USAF. Thanks for watching everyone, and we appreciate your continued support.